how would you actually compare the economic management of Dr. Manmohan Singh and uh, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi? Now, if I look back, what specific reforms did the UPA do in 2004 when it came to office, right? You know, it came to office in 2004. The first budget it presented uh, was for year four five. Mm. Um, and what reforms it did in the following year. I'm hard pressed to see any reforms there. The growth actually, growth rate had already been kicked up by the reforms that Narsimha Rao and Atabari Vajpayee did. And really what these two prime ministers had sown is what the UPA was reaping in its first term. Okay. To its credit, I would say that it did not do anything that would have been terribly harmful to the economy. There was no, you know, you can also do. I mean, Indira Gandhi, for example, adopted many bad policies, which you will call the anti-growth policies. Hmm. Uh, and and lot of our economic reforms had to do with what <laughs> the, the, the prime, first Prime Minister Nehru had done and what Indira Gandhi had done. A lot of, and some of the vestiges are still probably there. And uh, 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 then came the UPA 2. And UPA 2, actually, a, a, a whole lot of anti-growth things happened. Mm. Uh, I, I, I'll count you a few. Uh, but but first of all, the budget expenditures went out of hand. The, the macro, you know, the fiscal deficits really expanded. Not sur no surprise, because Pranam Mukherjee, who thought that spending had no effect on probably that's how, that's how he must have thought. He really started going to town with spending. Uh, and uh, so this massive, you know, the pay commission came in, they, they, they implemented the pay commission. And that was before the, by the way, global financial crisis. A lot of the people tried to hide behind the financial crisis. That all, you know, you were... That's the argument that it's that's given, that it was because of the 2008 crisis. Absolutely. Absolutely disingenuous argument because the budget for eight nine had been presented in February March, mm, right? And and pay commission uh, implementation etc. had been committed to before the crisis. So right. so it is disingenuous actually when people say oh you know this was a response to the crisis or something. No, mm. expenditures had taken off because Pranab Mukherjee was was the finance minister. I think. In the first term, Chidambaram was the finance minister. In the second term, when it opened up, it was Pranab Mukherjee. Mm. And the effect was not from the global financial crisis, but from the new from the new finance minister. Mm. So that, that's the first uh, thing I would point out. Alongside, one can say that all this crony lending really began to expand and this whole restructuring process of the uh, bad loans, bad loans. Uh, acquired a new scale. Mm. Uh, so that's the second bad thing happened. Third bad thing happened, retrospective taxation happened. Then we come to the Land Acquisition Act of 2013. Mm. So now there was a problem on land acquisition law. This was the, the law that we had was from the colonial times. Yeah. And obviously it was a very easy law because the British government wanted to have free hand in acquiring anybody's land for nothing. Yeah. And so a lot of abuse of that law had been happening, particularly in the States. Now you think, go back to compare what mm. Prime Minister Vajpayee handed over to Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Really, Sonia Gandhi, I mean, frankly, I should say, particularly in UPA too, all the policies were being uh, done by the National Advisory Council, which was headed by Mr. Sonia Gandhi. Mm. Prime Minister was practically, you know, uh, 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 powerless in this whole process. Mm.